in a lot of cases, you're going to face quadratics that look something like that. And when asked to factorise it, a lot of students um, worry and run away or, um, you know, get really scared about not being able to do it. And it's a lot of it comes down to your confidence with your mental arithmetic skills. Um, and where most students would prefer there to be a nice, um, nice way of just putting it through a process, turning the wheel and getting your answers out. With factorising, um, ca it can work. <laughs> um, there are uh, methods that you can employ that will do that. They're not very easy to use. I will be working through one of them in the next video. But in this case, when the number in front of the x squared is prime, it makes it a little bit easier for us. Um, and the reason why it makes it easier for us is because there is only one way of making the 3x squared. If it was 5x squared, there is only one way of making 5x squared. So for the 3x squared, it would be 3x multiplied by an x. And that's it. If it was the 5x squared, as I said, it would be 5x times x. But if it's 8x squared, then you've got 8x times x, you've got 4x times 2x, okay? So you've got a possible... Um, there are different combinations. If you get to 16x squared, you know, you've got even more combinations, and that's a problem, okay? So, and that's why students worry, because then it's like um, trial and error. So, with this, what you need to be thinking of is that, right, the number in front of the x squared is prime, okay? There is only one way that this is going to factorise. And then you look at this number the, in last, the constant term, the plus 5. These two numbers that are missing need to multiply together to make that plus 5, okay? So, that could be 1 and 5, or minus 1 and minus 5, okay? Now, the only way that it's going to work to make 8x, to make positive 8x, would be plus 1 and plus 5, okay? For them both to be positive, Otherwise, we will get ne a negative minus 8x if we're not careful. So they need to be positive, okay? We can identify that. So which, in which one should the 5 and the 1 go? Should it be 5 here and 1 there, or 1 there and the 5 there, okay? Now, the way you do that is you think, well, 3x needs to multiply with something, okay? Uh, so either the 1 or the 5. And then I need the x to multiply with this one, and I need to combine them together. Now, if I multiply 3x by 5, I will get 15x, which will be way too much. Okay? I need 8x. So I need to multiply the 3x by the 1, so that the x can be multiplied by the 5. Then we have 3x times 1 is 3x, 5x, uh, 5 times x is 5x, and 3x plus the 5x will make 8x. So this is the correct answer here. Okay? Now, as you can see, there was a little bit of trial and error, um, trying a few combinations out. And you shouldn't be too worried about doing that. Write it down. Don't try and just try and do it all in your head. Okay? Put the brackets out. We know that it's 3x and x, and I just need to find the other two terms. Okay? Be happy with playing around with it and trying the numbers, okay? And that's going to come from your confidence in this and just trying lots and lots and lots of examples, okay? So next video, we're gonna, I'm going to show you a possible method that you might want to learn.